In a presidential election where both candidates are well over 70, each has questioned the other's mental agility. Our own Errol Barnett asked the presumptive Democratic nominee, Joe Biden, about that. Errol, good morning again. So the former vice president seemed to bristle at that question. That's right. Good morning, Vlad. You know, we, ha we had an opportunity to speak to the vice president as part of the convention for National uh, Association of Black and Hispanic Journalists, which is kicking off today. And we cover a wide range of topics. But as you know, President Trump has made his mental ability and agility a campaign topic. And Vice President Biden had previously said in June he's always cognitively tested on the campaign trail. But I had a more specific question. Here's the exchange. Please clarify specifically, have you taken a cognitive no, test? No, I haven't taken a test. Why the hell would I take a test? Come on, man. That's like saying you, before you got in this program, you take a test where you're taking cocaine or not. What do you think, huh? Are, are you a junkie? What do you say to <laughs> President Trump who brags about his test and makes your <laughs> mental state an issue for voters? Well... If he can't figure out the difference between an elephant and a lion, I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Did you watch that? Look, come on, man. I, I, I know you're trying to goad me, but I mean, I'm so forward looking to have an opportunity to sit with the president or stand with the president in debates. Now, we asked the Biden campaign this morning if they wanted to add any additional context to those remarks, specifically comparing a mental test to being tested for cocaine. The campaign has not yet responded. The vice president will hold a number of virtual events this afternoon, including one with Atlanta Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. She is one of his potential VP uh, picks, and we expect an announcement on that front in the coming days. Vlad? Yeah, Errol, I think also one of the important points that he made in your interview with him is he said that he's looking forward to debating the president of the United States, something that some of his supporters have said probably would not happen, that he wasn't interested in doing that. Errol Barnett. Yeah. Good that was pretty interesting. Doesn't seem like the same interview I've seen this morning. I believe that's lying through admission. CBS scoundrels. Have a look at this, mate. Huh? This is a real interview. Have you taken a cognitive no, test? No, I haven't taken a test. Why the hell would I take a test? Come on, man. That's like saying you, before you got in this program, if you take a test where you're taking cocaine or not, what do you think, huh? Are, are you a junkie? What do you say to <laughs> President Trump, who brags about his test and makes your mental state an issue for voters? Well... If he can't figure out the difference between an elephant and a lion, I don't know what the hell he's talking about. Did you watch that? Look, come on, man. I, I, I know you're trying to goad me, but I mean, I'm so forward looking to have an opportunity to sit with the president or stand with the president in debates. There can be plenty of time. And by the way, as I joke with him, you know, it, I, I shouldn't say it. I'm going to say something I don't I, I probably shouldn't say. Anyway, I am uh, I am very willing to let the American public judge my physical and mental fil my physical as well as my mental fil <laughs> fitness. <laughs> oh no! War, disease, hostile powers. The world is a crazy place. Does Joe Biden have the mental capacity to keep America safe? You gotta. I mean, the, the, we have to take care of the cure. That will make the problem worse, no matter what. Is Joe Biden making any sense? We don't always love them, but that's, that, that's who we are. That's hilarious. Now, can you imagine that man in a presidential debate with Donald Trump? It's There's not Trump. enough popcorn in the world. <laughs> All men and women created by the go, you know the, you know the thing. Is Joe Biden in mental decline? I want to be clear. I'm not going nuts. Let, 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 let him go. Does Joe Biden have dementia? I'm going to beat Joe Biden. If you want a nominee who's a Democrat, a lifelong Democrat, a proud Democrat, an Obama-Biden Democrat, join us. If you want a nominee who will bring this party together, who will run a progressive, positive campaign, 
and turn, turn this primary from a campaign that's about negative attacks into one about what we're for, because we cannot get reelect, we cannot win this reelection. Excuse me, we can only reelect Donald Trump. In a world losing its mind, we don't need a president who's already lost his. Breaking news tonight, President Trump telling us just moments ago on this broadcast what he is hearing about the Justice Department investigation of Obamagate. We caught them spying. Now it's up to our attorney general. Uh, as you know, I've wanted them to do it. I didn't want to get overly involved. Maybe I should, maybe I shouldn't. But I do hear it's breathtaking what they found. That's all I can say, breathtaking. And hopefully it'll come out soon. But it's beyond what anybody ever thought even possible, how bad it is, how bad it is and how corrupt it is. But I'm going to let them do that. I'm not going to do that. It's a horrible thing that took place, and it should never be allowed to happen to another president.